and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, I'm going to show you how to plant a pineapple to be grown indoors, and you will eventually get a real pineapple that you can eat. It takes a while, and the pineapple that you do get, generally pineapples grown indoors are not all that big. So you're gonna get a small, a baby pineapple when it's all said and done. But it's just a really fun thing to do. It's a fun thing. It's even a fun thing for um, a project, maybe for uh, younger people, etc. Although it does, they need to have patience because it does take a long time. So what you do is you plant the pineapple um, and you can plant the pineapple at any time of year. You, you, you can use a pineapple you get from the store, and I'm going to show you the process in a second here. And you, it, it grows the first year and produces foliage, and then the second year it will grow the pineapple, and then you get to eat the pineapple. So like I said, a little bit of patience here, but a really fun project. And if you get them going, I know some, some indoor gardeners who do a lot of, in, that, that have done in the past a lot of this sort of thing with fruits and vegetables, that if you keep them on a steady schedule, then eventually you will have pineapple. You could essentially have pineapple more frequently than every two years, right? So pineapples are in the bromeliad family. Uh, they, they, so just like the ornamental bromeliad, and I have a, a video, a couple videos on them, just like that, they, they grow just like that too. So, and you can see here, they have the funnel in the middle, like other, the, the uh, ornamental bromeliads do, uh, for where their, the water goes, right? Okay, so, as mentioned, you can plant them at any time of year. However, you will have the most luck getting them rooted during warm months. So that's why I'm doing this video in the spring. Uh, it, 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 you'll have a lot better luck in that, in, those, in that regard. So the procedure is that you want to show you the procedure here. You want to cut off the top. So get, get your pineapple from the store and, or if you're near someone who grows them and you wanna cut off about an inch, uh, and leaving about an inch of fruit at the top. So approximately an inch of fruit at the top. So I'll show you that. I'm cutting right here. Okay, now this you can eat. <laughs> and this one smells really good. I'm looking forward to eating it. And then here you see I have about an inch. Now this, what you wanna do is you want to let this callus over for a week. So it will then lose water and callus over like this guy. So this guy was done a week ago. So you see the top part has shrunk, right? It doesn't look so much like an inch anymore because there was, there's a lot of water in pineapple. There's a lot of water in fruit. So when it does shrink, don't worry about it. That's okay. The re that's the reason why you're giving it a little that inch there to you, so you still have a lot of meat at meaty section here that's attached to the top part here because this is where the rooting's gonna go on. Okay, so the next step after you've done that part, get this out of the way, um, is now this guy I'm going to callus over uh, for a week. So I'm not going to be planting this one right now. Uh, get it away from things here. Okay, now I'm going to plant this one that I calloused over a week ago. This is a mix, you want to do a mix about 50% pumice and 50% of a moisture retentive soil. I'll put a link below for soil. Uh, and also I have my pumice product here that works really well um, to mix in. So it's, it's, um, it gives the, the it, as mentioned, it is a bromeliad, so it gives the plant some really good drainage here. Okay, you will need rooting hormone to get this guy to root. And what you want to do is you want to put some rooting hormone on the calloused area. 
and the rooting hormone will cause that calisteria to root. Be careful with rooting hormone. You don't want to breathe it in. You would best to wear gloves when you use it. I'm not sticking it. I'm doing this and then I'm going to use, and this is a, a, a paintbrush you can use, um, something like that. Child's paintbrush, and then just get it evenly distributed once you're done getting the rooting hormone on there so you don't want to mix that into the powder so it will cake. Okay, so done that pretty good there. Then this was pre-moistened. You want to pre-moisten the soil. And then you want to pretty much like screw it into the top of the soil where it makes contact. Okay, now you, you will notice, first of all, this is a pretty big pot. I usually say don't have such a big pot for pos plants and that sort of thing. In this case, you really don't want to repot this once it gets going. So for the next two years, it's going to be staying in this pot. It will also create towards the end of its life cycle babies. So you will have, you can harvest your own baby plants and then start the cycle again and have your own uh, basically, so you can say, I really, I raised these from babies, the, the, uh, the pineapple that you're eating right later on. Okay, so that's what you want to do here. And that's why you want this bigger pot because you want room. If it was a small pot, you wouldn't have room for those pups to come in either. And this will uh, create a pretty good root system and it will, um, uh, it, 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 this will be enough for it to go from to go to maturity. So keep that in mind. And like all bromeliads, pineapples get most of their moisture from their funnel. So uh, you want to keep the soil slightly moist and you want to put water in the funnel. Initially, however, it's good to wet, and I'm going to be doing this afterwards, it's good to wet the soil with Oh, um, actually, I'm going to do that, get the watering can and do that. Okay, so I've got the watering can. So it's initially, because you're trying to get the, that area to root, it's good to water a little bit around that area. And then you can also water the funnel. Now, a thing about bromeliads and growing them indoors and the funnel thing and the whole bit is you do need to watch that you're not getting fungus root gnats or the fungus gnats that fly around little gnats or mosquitoes. So sometimes I'll tell people just water the soil a little bit and then maybe mist the plant as opposed to filling that t funnel all the time. So it, you kind of have to see what works for you. Um, but that, so that, that explains that. That's why sometimes I, I have had people say, well, I've got a bunch of, I have a bunch of mosquitoes now because there's always water in that little funnel, right? And you can rinse out the funnel or you can just, like I said, mist and that gets the moisture to the plant as well as watering a little bit down there. But definitely for the first month or so while this guy is rooting, you do want to keep it moist, not soggy, just moist in that area so that it, the roots can take and start growing. You will know that the, it's taken because when you pull, you'll feel that it's very firm in there. Don't pull hard because you could pull the little baby roots off, but you'll feel that it's firm-ish it, firm in there. And then you will start to see new growth up top. When you start to see new growth up top, that tells you that the, the plant has established, it has roots, and it is growing. So uh, <clears throat> um, that that's a... That's how you do this. Another way some people do, do do this is they cut off the fruit section like I just did. Then they put that part into a solution of rooting hormone and water and they let that sit, sit for four to six weeks until it creates little baby roots and then they plant it. I, this to me is a little more direct. I, I'm getting it done, I'm getting it rooted in the same, I don't have to replant later so that's why I prefer this method but you can always try the other method to see what works for you. With your pineapple plant, you want to fertilize it monthly with a leak liquid sea kelp. I'll put a link below, or a well or well balanced organic liquid fertilizer. You're going to do that spring through fall, and especially when the fruit forms. Really important to be doing it at that point. Spray the fertilizer on the foliage to give it a foliar feeding, or you can place it in the solution in the funnel itself. 
Uh, the, you want bright indirect light for these guys. They really need a good light. Really a lot of the same similar care to bromeliads uh, and I, I'm linking that video for you. Additionally, when they create the little baby pups, you do the same thing as you do for pups, for the regular bromeliads. And I have a video on that too. So that shows you how to do that. Uh, and as mentioned, the watering, you're gonna have to figure out what works for you in your house. Uh, but you need to, you, one thing that will tell you things are okay is that you continue to get foliage growth. And obviously a year later when you get the, the little pineapple will appear in the very center here and it's very exciting and it looks like a little baby pineapple because it is a baby pineapple. That is like really cool. So, uh, so obviously, like I said, need a little patience to get to that point, but it's very fun when you get to that point. So. Uh, south facing window, as I mentioned, the lighting is important. Eastern window, they also do well with full spectrum lighting. So just uh, keep an eye on them, make sure they look like they're growing. Now it's gonna take a while for this to root. It's gonna take a while for it to start growing foliage. You have to be patient with these plants, like I said. But you should see a gradual progression once it roots of foliage up top. And as mentioned, you don't wanna be soaking this soil, but they do. you do need to get some moisture to the roots so uh, and when the pineapple comes out it'll be it'll be easy pretty easy it comes out up through the foliage and then you cut it off at the base um, the, the base so the base underneath this part underneath here you cut off at the base will be coming jutting out cut it off at that point and then um, you and then it will have its own top and you start the process again and you eat and have a great time maybe have a pineapple party or something so there you go how to grow pineapples indoors thank you for stopping by today please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see remember to like comment subscribe and share this video and please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released